you, what we want to see is you showing to us your passion about the work that you're doing so that it lifts it off the page. At Social Tech Trust, we've always actively um, focused, disproportionately maybe, um, on making our application process for funding hugely accessible and democratic. So all our application processes are online. We populate our website with stacks of information and FAQs to make people understand what it is that we're looking for. We make a point of um, giving opportunities for people to talk to us about the funding round as well. So we run webinars, which are obviously accessible to anybody around the country, but we do put on um, physical pre-application chats. We always do one in London just because it's a thriving community, but we also actively do something that is not London every time. And there's an opportunity for us to tell people face to face what it is we're looking for, what we're not looking for, and give them a chance to, to chat to us about their ideas so they can work out whether it's along the right lines. Then we go through a two stage application process. The first stage is very light. And we also ask for a video, which is just like 90 seconds. And we specifically say, this can be filmed on your iPad, iPhone. We're not looking for professional quality. What we want to see is you showing to us your passion about the work that you're doing so that it lifts it off the page and really gives us a sense for, for you as a, as, a, as a group of individuals um, pitching to us. Then if people are successful at the first stage, they get invited to a second stage where we require a bit more detail. But again, it's all building on information that they've previously provided. So throughout it, we're, we're keen to make sure that we're seen to be supporting people um, uh, and that they're using their time wisely. So part of being an open um, and democratic funder is also about the, the process for selection. Um, and we've tackled this in a number of ways in the past. We're always mindful of ways to improve what we do. Um, continuous improvement is kind of one of my personal things and, and that pervades throughout the organisation. Um, and uh, someone's told me recently about an organisation called Edge Fund and the way that they select um, ventures to receive funding from them in a, in a really democratic, um, through a really democratic process where the people applying for, for funding choose amongst themselves who should receive it. Um, that's an interesting model um, and something that, you know, we need to be cognizant of and, and how, whether that would improve um, the way that we go about selecting um, from the, the mass of ventures that come through to us.